Hi everyone, we're continuing for this Friday of our Own It series and this week the topic has been Own Your Capacity. We are reading again from Matthew 14 verses 13 to 21. From the NIV it says, When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so that they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, said Jesus. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. When he gave them to the disciples and the, then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people they all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over the number of those who ate was about 5,000 men besides women and children I really hope these last few days of devotions have been helpful as we finish this week on the own your capacity series I just really want to encourage you to not hold back we've been going um back to this verse the last few weeks of Isaiah 54 verses 2 to 3 and I just love it and in it in the NIV it says enlarge the place of your tent stretch your tent curtains wide do not hold back lengthen your cords strengthen your stakes for you will spread out to the right and to the left your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities church do not hold back it may be easy to get settled and comfortable to accept what you have and what you see Maybe you are similar to the disciples when they ask, what do we have or what do you have? Um, your reply might be that there are only five loaves and two fishes. But what we see is not what Jesus sees. He sees the possibilities, the multiplication and the miraculous. And so today, I just encourage you, and I'm definitely going to for myself, make a personal decision to not be somebody who holds back or withholds from Jesus. Church, I just encourage you to give him your all, whether it's big or small, and believe that as you walk with him, fully surrendering to him, that you yourself will see the impossible made possible. You will see the multiplication, that you will, and you will see the miraculous. I pray these things in Jesus' name. I'm excited for you. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the week. Enjoy the weekend and blessings to you all.